is Emma from Velbella Cosmetics and I am here today to tell you how to use the new Velbella Personal Airbrush System. This is a brand new portable wireless airbrushing machine um, where you can have perfectly airbrushed flawless skin in the comfort of your own home every single day. So if you want to learn how to use your machine, how to achieve perfectly airbrushed flawless skin every day, stay tuned. I'm about to teach you how. Thank you. Okay, everyone, so we're going to go ahead and unbox our Velbella personal airbrush system, and I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how to set it up and also how to use it. So I have done my eye makeup and my eyebrows off camera. Um, I do this with all my makeup, with all of my clients, um, just a bit of a habit, but uh, it's to avoid fallout uh, from the shadows on top of the eyelid falling down onto the um, fresh foundation. So. It's important when we're starting with airbrush makeup um, that we have to start with a clean face. So my face is cleansed. I've applied an oil-free moisturizer and I've also applied my preferred primer. So my skin's ready to go. Um, my eyes are ready to go. We can go start in um, and start airbrushing. So uh, inside the box, you have your Velbella airbrush machine. This is what it looks like. It comes in two colors. Um, this color, the white, and a, and a rose gold as well. So, looking at the machine, first point is we have an LED screen here and an on button. So when we push the on button, it automatically turns on and goes to setting one. Speed setting one is not for foundation, it is for body mists and things alike. When we push the button a second time, it goes to speed setting two. So this is the speed setting that we wanna be using for our Velvilla Airbrush Cosmetics. Okay, on the side here, we've got our control button. Now with the control button, uh, it's in the open position. If you push it all the way in, it will close so you can do some hand-free um, airbrushing. However, for best results, we recommend just using the lever inside so it's more of a control on your spray. And that way where you've got areas where you need to have a little bit more coverage or a little bit more color coming through, you can push down further to get more flow. So inside your box, it comes with two cup sizes. So there's the larger cup and then the smaller cup as well. So today we're gonna to be using the smaller cup. This is to be used for all of your Velbella airbrush products. And it simply screws onto the top there. So we wanna make sure it's screwed up nice and tight so that there's no leaks. And the product's gonna be coming out of the little nozzle here at the very end, okay? comes with a cap, so we wanna remove the cap to put our product in. Now you can see in here that there's a little mark line about halfway up. That is the maximum that you wanna be filling it, and that's gonna be for a full coverage airbrush foundation. If you're someone who likes to have a very light coverage or just to look, just to even your skin tone out, then you would be filling it about one quarter of the way, not the half. So, I'm going to take our airbrush foundation, because we're ready to start airbrushing now. Um, give it a really good shake. Because Velbella Airbrush Cosmetics are proudly water-based and mineral-based, it's really normal for there to be some settling of the pigments. So make sure you give it a good shake just to disperse those throughout. Now, take our gun. I'm going to fill it up about halfway because I'm going to do a full coverage today and I'm going to replace the cap. Okay, so before I turn on, it's really important to make sure the control button is in the open position. If you have it clicked in and you turn the unit on, product will start spraying out immediately. So always have it in the on open position. We're gonna turn it to speed setting two. Now I wanna hold the machine about 10 centimeters away from my face, and I like to work in sections. And you'll notice that I'm working in small circular motions, but I'm never holding the machine in one spot. It's always moving. Now, I like to have more coverage on my chin area because I've had some hormonal acne in the past. So I'm going to need to overlap lap this product um, quite a bit. So I'm going to start with the chin. And then as I move around the face, the chin area is going to dry and I'm gonna come back there and I can start layering. It's really important that we don't oversaturate the face. So if while you're using your airbrush machine, it starts to feel a bit wet, move on to a different area. So 10 to 
10 to 12 centimeters away from the skin and we're working in circular motions around the face. So start on the areas where you, you need that more coverage so that you can easily build it up. Okay, so control button's open and I'm just lightly pressing down on the trigger, just ever so lightly. I really wanna take my time if I can. Okay. Moving around the face slowly in circular motions and I'm not allowing it to stay still in one spot. It's always moving it around. So I've done a, an initial layer. I'm gonna come through the middle of the face now because there's usually a spot through here. Okay, and I'm gonna basically repeat that process again. Now this product can absolutely go on the eye area. So I said I'd done my eyes off camera beforehand and that's just, that's just because I have a preference to do that. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit stuck in my ways, but you absolutely can have a completely clean face and do this all over your eyes. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So you can see here now, I'm just wisping over the rest of the face on those areas that I feel like there needs to be a little bit more coverage. Just making sure that I avoid oversaturation. Um, you also want to avoid your hairline as well. It is water-based. It will come out with just a little quick water wipe. You can see I've got some here in my hair. And problem solved. Okay, so I'm going to open up the cap and just have a look at how much is left in there. There's still a little bit to go. So I'm just going to give that a second to dry and bring it down my neck area. Okay, now what I like to do is when I'm when it looks like it's just about done, I'm gonna take my blush. So I'm using today the Bella Rose. So you can see the product's quite shiny on my face at the moment, it's just while it's drying. So shake up, shake up your blush. Take your machine, we wanna add like two, drops I'm gonna go three because I like a bold blush but probably one to two two is is sufficient okay now again speed setting two on the back of my hand I'm going to pull the trigger slightly sorry till I can see the pink is starting to come through okay now with the blush I'm going to be working from the tops of my ears here in a position like this okay tops of my ears right onto that cheekbone now, again, I want to make sure that I've got that, that control button in the fully open position because I just want to have that tiny, tiny touch of product. So I'm just going to look in a mirror here so I can make sure I get it in the right place. Small circular motions, keeping it moving. Down towards the cheek area. Very, very light, and I'm gonna build it up. Same again. Okay, so really lightly, I'm gonna pull, pull more pigment on that. Now, 
It looks quite bold. But I'm going to show you what happens when we powder. I just like to blend it around the face slightly. Um, just to pull it up around the base of the eyes. It just helps with the blending of it. Um, now, I've used up all of that. You will know when you have run out of product, you will hear the sound. It makes like a sucking sound. Um, you'll hear it. You'll know. So now I've done, I've done my blush. I'm going to go through with my highlighter now. Today, I'm going to be using the Bella in the Opal. It's a really nice, cool tone. Very, very, very light and natural, but just gives that beautiful amount of shimmer. One, two, three drops for that today. Okay, so um, again, we are in setting number two. Control button is in the open position. And I'm going to be doing this right on top of that line of where the blush is between the blush and the eyes. Now, I don't want to be going too deep into the eye area because there can be some fine lines there. Uh, we want to be keeping it right on top of that cheekbone and in almost in like a C shape like this. So on both sides. So C shape, the tops of the brows are round. You can do a little bit on the ends of the nose and a little bit on the top. We are going to be setting today with the Velvella Loose Mineral Powder. This is shade in beige. I want to tap out a little bit into the lid of the, of the cup there. And I like to give it a little bit of a shake just to make sure it's sort of nice and evenly spread. Now, I'm, I like to use a flat, a flat powder brush for this. Dab in the top. Tap out the excess. Okay, and I'm going to be starting in small areas. So, I like to do the foundation parts first, then finish off with the blush because if there is any loose pigment on there, you could transfer it a bit around the face. So, dotting it in, pushing. I'm not sweeping or circling. I am pushing it into the skin. And this is going to help set it. Tap off that excess. Tap it off. And pushing it into the skin. Okay, so I've done those foundation areas first. Now I'm going to go through on the blush and this is going to just tone it down and melt it all in. And look at the difference. So you can see this is really obviously placed but it's so subtle and soft on this other side. So press it in, just melts it into the skin. It's really beautiful. And make sure I'm just gonna finish off the rest that's in there. I'm gonna set in underneath here as well. So I've put my powder on, I have put my foundation, my highlighter um, and my powder. So I've set that. So next I'm going to apply my waterproof setting spray. So Velvella waterproof setting spray. And I'm going to do about a quarter of a cup. Put my cap back on. Control is in the open position. Turn it on to setting two. And I'm going to do the same is what I do with the foundation. But you can be a little bit faster with this. It is a liquid, so it's just gonna come out quite nice. Beautiful and refreshing. 
and this is going to help set my makeup all day. And just pull a little bit of life back into it. Um, just dry that off quickly. Just to kind of give it that little bit of dew. Uh, but it does dry quite matte as well. So it's a nice, it's a nice balance between the matte and the dew finish. And that is how, I'm just drying all of this off. That is how we're going to use our Velvella Personal Airbrush System. So, I'm going to go through and finish off the rest of my makeup look. Uh, but you don't have to watch. The rest of it doesn't, doesn't have our um, Velvella, it doesn't contain our Velvella Personal System. So, um, but I'm going to show you how I finish off the rest of my face. My face above the water My feet can't touch the ground Touch the ground and it feels like I can see the sands on the horizon every time You are not around, I'm slowly drifting away Wave after wave, wave after wave I'm slowly drifting And it feels like the drowning Pulling against the street, pulling against the tutorial for the Velvella personal airbrush system uh, thank you so so much for watching thank you for all of your support if I can be of any further assistance to you reach out to me send me a DM send me an email I'm happy to help with any of your questions thank you so much